Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, tonight, I am going to be looking for Spookwood, but I'm not going to be server jumping quite as much as I was yesterday. <clears throat> for the, the simple fact that two of the servers that I was in, people pointed out that there was Spookwood in them. So, yeah. That means I skipped right over them and I didn't see them. So... Oh, and by the way, Defaultio did an update. So, hi buddy. Scully, what's up bud? Hey buddy. <clears throat> I'm gonna teleport here in just a second. It's gonna teleport on you, okay? So, uh, I think maybe two servers tonight, and we'll, we'll do a thorough job of looking through and finding them. Um, to the person that said, Code, why did you drive around? You could see the entire server. You wasted so much time. Well, one of the main reasons is because I like to talk. Like, I mean, if you haven't noticed, most of my channel is more or less talking about daily life and emotions than it is actually playing the game. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I did tutorials and stuff to start out, like the quad saw, how to build the quad saw and stuff like that, how to build door bridges. You know, I have done tutorials, but the majority, oh gosh, the majority of my content has nothing to do with Roblox itself. It's just me kind of hanging out, you know? Um, before we actually get going, I want to take a quick peek to see if something's there. Um, there was another person asking, Code, your doors, they're already down. Yes, they are. Um, the new build, or the new load script that Defaultio did, hold on. The faster plot load times, these things. That was part of it. Um, because of the way that it loads now, we actually get our... Sorry, we, we the, the glass doors will appear first, everything else will resin, and then the glass doors will activate. So that's, that's why. I'm looking for Spookwood. So I'm not actually talking at the moment. We will take a peek, and then we'll take a a longer drive around. I should actually get up to a platform. Hey, buddy, thank you so much for the subscribe. Okay, jump over there. <sighs> so, it's good to ask questions. You know, not only for your own learning and for questioning life, but like to discover more information that you may not have known. You know, if you went through life without questioning anything, I think we would have a bunch of sheep, a bunch of people who didn't think for themselves. I think that's a dead tree. Where my arrow is. Yep, this is a dead tree. I... I want people to be here on my channel and to enjoy themselves just from getting away from daily life. Because we all know that no matter what age you're, you are, no matter how young or how old you are, life sucks sometimes. You know, it just, it gets tiresome, it gets wor worrisome. And there's a lot of things in this world that we should worry about, but just everyday living should not be one of them. You, you should be able to wake up every day refreshed and think, you know, today I'm going to learn something new, or today I'm going to do this, you know? And I know that sounds very generalistic, but I always have this overwhelming fear of anxiety and it's it's just not rational like I fear that my YouTube channel will die one day I fear that one of my children will pass before I do I fear that I'll lose my job and it really is irrational like there's there's no reason that I would lose my job there's no like, 
I'm not doing anything to lose my job. I'm not doing anything to lose the channel. I'm not doing anything that warrants my worry. So the only thing I can do is say to myself, you know what? I'll worry about it when it happens. I, I won't worry about it just because I think it could happen or the possibility of it happening could be there. That's not warranted. That's, that's not a way to think or live. So, if you're worried about something right now, if you've got a test coming up, or if you've got daily life, daily bills, parents, bills will come and go, money will come and go. And it's okay to worry about it, but it's not something that you should beat yourself up on. It's not something that you should keep keep you up at nighttime. Because no matter what the situation, there's always help. And I know a lot of us, we're too proud to ask for help. We're too proud to admit that we are struggling. And kids, it's... It's one thing to think that we know what we're talking about as adults, but I remember thinking, man, my, my parents have it together. They, they have the answers for everything. And now that I'm grown, I'm 40, almost 40 years old, I know that that is not the case. I don't have the answers for everything. I mean, I'm pretty good about going and finding the answers and figuring things out, but... <clears throat> you don't know, you know, the future is unknown and it's okay <laughs> that it's unknown. It's okay to not know the answer sometimes in a world, in a generation where the information superhighway, the world wide web, our internet has every answer that you could possibly have and every answer that you might not want. It's not okay to say, I don't know. Because we'll, we'll look it up. Used to, we'd ask the question, hey, what was the name of that one guy in that one movie? And it was okay. It was perfectly okay to say, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Because we didn't have the ability to go and look it up. So, every once in a while, understand that it's okay to not know. So, now if it happens to be a test or something, <laughs> there's no excuse to not know the answer. And there's no excuse to give up. And I fell. I knew I was going to fall. Dang it. Um, by the way, I do have an announcement. If you happen to be part of the group project that's going on, um, it is released. Make sure that you have the role. Um, we can go to a new server now. So... Make sure that you have the role. And if you don't have the role and you are a content creator, contact me via Twitter or via the group and we'll make sure that you get the role. But the game is ready. So record, follow the rules and do the thing because it's it's coming. It's this week. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Huh. Lots of people have been... Uh, doing spook week scary week hold on before i load in anything let's take a quick peek the guy's got a bunch of pink cars but does not look like exploits okay i swear i tried to load into like three different servers before i started recording the first one had a guy that was doing wire art and it, in fact it was like mike's wild wire art or something like that the second one I loaded into, it had electric trees just shoved all over this area. And that's that tells me right off the bat, exploiter. Somebody was exploiting in there. And then the third one that I jumped into, there was a base that was loaded over here that had a pile of axes and electric trees. Full-sized electric trees. Blue wood from cave crawlers. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's like every server I go into... There is an exploiter. It's just too much. 
<sighs> Whoa. Did you guys see the sun just jump like that? That was crazy. Hold on. Why can't I get to that spot? There we go. That didn't make, make no sense. The order of uh, load operation should go plot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the way it used to be. But you know what? He has changed some scripts. Times are changing. Oh. Was that blue woods shoved in the, the thing? Am I in another exploiter's mess? Savage. Savage. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I can't control what happens inside this, this game. Whoa, super jump. That was kind of cool. <clears throat> okay, we will climb up to the top, and we're never going to stop, just like that. So, if you have a test today, or if you have a test sometime this week, and you're in school, study, you know, study hard, but don't fret about not making the grade. What do you call a doctor who makes all D's throughout college? A doctor. We put so much emphasis on A's and B's. You know, a lot of a lot of parents are just strict A's. Like you gotta make A's. You gotta make A's. And A means outstanding, phenomenal, beyond beyond the normal capabilities of human beings. B means superior, better than the rest. C. C average. Okay? There's a reason why it's called C average. C's are where everybody's average skills are. That is the bell curve. That is the, the medium. That's why it's a C. D means you need to improve some work. And then, what is it? F? F is failure. If you get an F, that means you didn't try. And with nowadays... Teachers and yo, good primate. Hi. Hi. With today's teachers and technology and everything else that's going on in the world, I can't see, I don't understand why some people fail. Like, it's, it's okay if you do. I mean, just try and make it up somewhere. And I've made D's in, in high school, especially when it was something that didn't. You can follow me in the servers. I mean, I, I allow everyone to follow me, so you're fine. It just seems to me that people worry about grades a lot. Don't worry about the grades, okay? Do your best. Learn the subject. And if it's a subject that you're not interested in, that's where I can see the problem. Here's the thing. If it's a subject that people just aren't interested in in general, what is that? Is that one? I don't think that's one. I can't see it all that well. We'll wait a little bit and see if that is one. Um, generally, interest is what stopped me. If I just wasn't interested in a subject, whether it was history, math, reading, writing, whatever the case. I just didn't want to do it, you know, and I understand that. So, <sighs> I don't fault people for being bored. My, uh, my son has started this thing where he'll be in the back seat of the car while we're driving, and anywhere we drive, it's like 10 minutes. That's it. 10 minutes, and we're there. And he's started doing this thing where he, he says out loud, I'm bored. And used to, I'd say, well, if you're bored, that probably means you're a boring person and you should do something to find to entertain yourself. But then I started thinking about it. 
if you're bored, it's good for you. It's good for the human mind. In, in a world where constant stimulus, instant gratification is the norm, being bored and being able to like sit there and think and just rationalize inside your head, that's good. That is a good thing. So be bored, you know? In a world where cancel culture seems to be a norm as well. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm still looking for Spookwood. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I think my ADHD medicine wore off. Being bored. That's what I was talking about. It's good to be bored. <laughs> it's good to be curious. It's good to be bored. Be nice. I mean, these are, these are things that I preach every single day. I'm not like preaching like... <laughs> but you know what I mean. No matter what your belief system, no matter who you are, ethnicity, race, um, status, culture, doesn't matter. Be nice. That is, that is a norm that is accepted amongst the entire world. I would say universe, but we don't know what other kind of aliens are out there. And it's not to say that I believe in aliens. And it's not to say that I don't believe in aliens. It's just, I'm saying... I don't think we have a big enough sample, okay? With with our knowledge and what we've discovered in science itself, I'm not going to say, like, you, you go to the ocean, right? The ocean's huge. If you've never been to the ocean or if you don't understand the size of the ocean, it's huge. It'd be like going up to the ocean, taking a, a glass, dipping it in the water, looking at the water and saying, there's no whales, there's no such things as whales. Now we know that whales exist because we've had a big enough sample and we've studied them. And we know that there's species that exist that we haven't discovered yet. I mean, that's just unknown. We're discovering species every single day. So to say there's no such a thing as aliens, I couldn't tell you if that's true or not. I can't prove you're wrong and I can't prove that I'm right, but it's good to keep an open mind, I guess. Now, I have not seen a single spook tree. I've been looking this entire time. We are 17 minutes into the video. And I am looking... Don't worry about looking underneath my face. There's, there's nothing under there. Well, I mean, under this face, there might be some bones and some tissue. Maybe some muscles. A lot of fat. <laughs> I keep wanting to burp. Now that has not died yet. And I've been looking at it. I'm going to go take a closer look. Uh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Let's go. Found one. It's mine. Oh no! It's gone. No! Dead tree. False alarm. You guys saw it there, right? Like, I, I've seen it twice now. Dang it. All right. Back up we go. Huh. I wonder. Just for fun. Ho! Oh. I moved the tree. Or I moved, moved the truck awesome. Whoa. Hmm. 
<laughs> I wonder if this is faster than climbing. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Almost fell down. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. I'm searching for, for spook wood. Heading back up. Ugh. That was fun. Oh, I forgot coffee. Oh, no. Don't you forget coffee. In fact, don't forget Zero Decaf Coffee. The second channel. And I will give you a fair amount of warning. The second channel is not family friendly. Okay, I play games over there that have curses, that have cusses, that have um, adult content, violence, blood, guns, and I feel so much more at home. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I was in the Marine Corps, All right, I had served for four years, I was a 5831 Military Police Correctional Specialist. Um, I was also an 8531, which was a PMI, Primary Marksman Instructor. I got to teach classes of Marines, 30 to 40 Marines at a time, how to shoot the M16A2 service rifle and the M9 Beretta service pistol. M9 Beretta service pistol, yeah. I think that's... I didn't, I didn't teach too many classes on the Beretta. That was more of an officer's course, but I still taught classes. So... Um, yeah, there's a little bit of wiring up here that still gets very motivated and has this killing instinct behind it. A no messing around attitude kind of thing. So it's kind of instilled in me. And then I was also a correctional officer for uh, nine years, total of nine years. Um, so, four years Marine Corps, nine years police force, correctional specialist. So you'll forgive me a little whenever I giggle when I pop a headshot on a zombie or two. Okay, is that? A dead tree. Gotta keep watching. Thank you. By the way, I completely forgot. 137,000 subscribers. I mean, we've gotten, I think we've gotten more since then, but. Hold on. I think if I pull this up, I can give you an exact count during this time. Oh, wait, that's zero decaf coffee. Switch. Switch accounts. Come on, come on, load. Oh, 137,593. In fact, we've had 814 new subscribers in the last 14 days. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you want, it's your choice. Oh, oh I've got that thing, don't I? With the OBS. Hold on. Let's see. This is how big the face cam was earlier. And because somebody asked me to make it smaller, that's how much more screen screen view you get. And you're welcome. I don't mind having a little screen. It's perfectly fine with me. All I see are pine trees. Is that a pine tree? Yeah, that's a pine tree. Or that's a fir tree. Okay, should we go to the next server? Let's. We. Oh, I flopped. That's okay. Uh, last one. We're gonna spend a little bit of time looking. So if it's a if it's a dark server, I'm not jumping out or I'm not jumping in. I want to make sure that I'm able to see. This one's about to go dark. Okay, we can try, but I don't think I'm going to be able to see very long. Probably is going to go dark before I can even get up there. Yeah. 
He hacked. Wait, what? How long y'all been playing this game? Three, uh, three years. Well, no wonder you have powers. Lol. I started Roblox in 2014. Where, uh, where are we going? Trees. Uh, not me. Not, not me. Oh, there. Blah blah blah. What happened? Uh, I didn't get none. Oh, there we go. We'll, we'll go right there. That's a good spot to hunt. Stole my brother's stuff. I thought y'all knew him. No, we didn't. He, the other hacker we just met, that's crazy, the other day unfriended us. Why did he ever get scammed, hacked like that? My brother's mad, so he spawned all my brother's stuff into his base and left. <clears throat> Wait, you're so smart. What? Hi. Oh, they weren't talking about me. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not very smart. You know, I, I like to think of myself as clever every once in a while, but not smart. There's a lot more people who are smarter than I am. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be too dark for us to see anything. Oh, no, that's a dead tree. Oh, I can't not see that direction. Well, we know there's nothing across the tops of those. If we go up too high, if we go up to like our normal area, it's gonna be too dark. I should make a bridge across this, like so we can get to one side or the other. That'd be kind of cool. Ah, I hate it when I have to look at the avatar. Okay, maybe. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Can I do this? <gasps> oh no! 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 Oh! just wasted time that's fine uh, listen I've only got two minutes left with the video so last words be kind rewind don't be late on your library books then how many of you still go to the library I know that we've all been kind of locked down because of COVID and everything but I have been going to the library with my kids and my wife and it's just as amazing the first time you know I love going into the library looking up card catalog and just checking out books I think it's so much fun why code you have the entire world of the internet true <clears throat> in fact most of the books that I read I could probably just go and download the PDFs because they've been pirated somewhere you know that's free too don't pirate by the way just saying all right i think that's it for the night well, what other axes do i have end times axe be sure that you're filling up with your um, can of worms your um light bulbs and your bag of sand because halloween is this weekend so we're getting closer it's gonna be spooky day uh, i think for friday i'm going to wear my um my halloween costume so I do have a special video that's getting ready to come out this week, which a lot of you probably already know, but I can't say anything about it until the day of. So that's, that's going to be fun. All right. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video, like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night. And real quick, I want to say this. At the end of my videos, I always say, love you for that. All right. And the reason I want to say I love you 
is because I think every single person in the world is very unique and special. And you, the person I'm talking to right now, you are unique and special. And you're unlike any other person in the world. I love you. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.